I'm very, 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 very happy that you all have come to national level. Not an easy thing. Thousands of people, several thousand people write every year in Spelby. Some write and then some if they feel, I don't want to study, go through the next level. Something like this. I got the book, but I did not read it at all. I don't know what to do. Tomorrow is the exam. And they finally come and sit the examination without studying anything. I see some answer paper like this. Word 1, word 2, word 3, they just write word, 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 word. And I see many students writing just the phonetic symbols. That's all. Seeing the phonetic symbol, they don't write the word, they just write the phonetic symbol, half of the phonetic symbol. So maybe, probably they did not go through it. Otherwise, I'm not able to believe that somebody is not having knowledge. I am not able to believe that. I am only seeing uh, probably they did not train themselves. They did not go through their book. They did not allocate some time to see what is in it. But those who are here, lovely kids, or those people who had some time for the commitment what they have taken. Isn't it? You had some time. Your parents had some, had some time to be with you. And this webinar is not just only for uh, you. Always these webinars for grade one, two, three, four, it's also for your parents. It's also for those people who are teaching you. So I don't mind your parents being in the screen. It's not necessarily only you need to be there in the screen. So don't push your parents here, there. Okay, okay, session is starting. Move, 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 I'm going to see. It's okay, your parents can be with you. It's okay if they are feeding you. It's okay if they are also taking notes along with you. Okay, because they are the people who are going to teach you. So I'll be very happy if your parents also along with you. And as, you are, as we are starting, may I request you all to keep your level one book with you. We are going to speak, the first speaker is going to speak on the next 300 words and its meanings. She is going to ask some questions on that. If you have the level three books, it's fine. If the level three books, if you are not having the level three book, it's okay. It must be in the transit. We have called all those people who have got selected. So what you can do? You can just have your level one book in that you can see the words. As they are progressing in the question and answer, page by page, as you move, you will understand which word they are going to see next. All right. And it's going to be a very interesting session from Arul Morima and followed by Kani Morima. And why am I here? And I'm here with a lot of interesting things. See, my, my screen. See, I'm also wearing a green color dress, you know. I'm seeing many of, quite few of you wearing a green color dress also. How many of you are wearing? Because your group color is green, so I felt, we all felt all three speakers are in green color dress. So I was able to get one. I'm also studying like you all. This is my school tree shirt. And this is one management school. So I, I took that t-shirt. So just to be along with you, happy, happy. So I'm wearing green color t-shirt. Right. Now let's go to the, the first step. The first step is I'm coming with a very, very celebrative mode. Yay. What is ahead of us in next two years of time? How many of you are happy about it? We are going to get into a happy, happy new year. How many of you are happy about it? Yay. So can you all just type, what is new year for you? Just type one word. What is new year for you? Happiness, good feast, uh, gifts, maybe some of you new dress, maybe going to grandma's house. It can be anything. So just type, 
What is happiness? Okay, so happy, fun, celebrating with family, joy, success, fun, happiness, festival, party, party, party. How many parties? Parties, celebration. Okay, beautiful, fun, holiday. Ah, all the things, holiday, no school. Okay, adventures, beautiful. All right, shall we? Okay, shall we go to the new year? The next uh, 10 more minutes, I'm going to speak on this new year. Okay. And uh, shall we begin this new year beautifully? Okay. Maybe in a beautiful, nice way. Uh, that is a way like this. Uh, first of all, we finish one whole year, isn't it? One full year. Uh, there are people who start new year like this. Ah, what is begin a new year? It is another day of the life. That's all. Why to think about all these new year, this, that, and all. Right, that's one way of seeing. Some people do not celebrate their birthdays also. They say, ah, it's another day in my life. Should I worry about that? Okay, you need not worry about those days and commemorations. But the thing is, you can take a chance of taking this new year as one of the important days so that you can stop doing certain things and start doing certain things. Right? Do you have a, okay, do you have a to-do list? Okay, these are the things I should do. Maybe I should brush my teeth every day. It's okay, I should finish my homework every day. I should read one uh, story every day. I have learned yoga, so I'll be doing yoga every day. I'll do some pranayama every day. It can be anything. I'll, I'll close my eyes and then sit on meditation every day. It can be anything. No, 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 Kanishka. You don't do it? Okay. So, you all type me, type to me. Just one or two habits, what do you have? Every day, what do you do? Okay, we eat, we take bath, and some simple things are there. Other than that, is there any interesting thing you do in your life? Can you all type, let others also see? Like, let's see, because they will, they will get one idea from you. I go to music class, or I go to a sports class, or I do one exercise at my home itself. Okay, so it can be anything. So let me read here. Yoga... Cricket, everyday habits. I'm talking about everyday habits or weekly. You should mention weekly. Okay, tournament, uh, KPs, music classes, dance classes. I go to tuition. Okay, tuition is part of study. Okay, art and craft. Okay, beautiful. Athletics. Okay, relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. Yeah, that's how nice it is. Okay, good. A backers class or I read before. Okay, good. Oh, good. Shall we go to one next stage? There is something called, uh, we, okay, in New Year, people say, ah, people take resolutions, but then they do not stick on to their resolutions. So that's what they think. So we are getting into 2024. It's a beautiful year because the world was seeing lots of struggles because of stay-at-home situations, this pandemic, that pandemic. But then this year is going to bring you a lot of great things because it is a pattern. It is a pattern. If you read, I've done a study on that. If you read the uh, graph of pandemics, after any problems like a tsunami or a pandemic, world will be booming like anything after two or three years of time. Like it will boom with a lot of changes. Like AI has come suddenly, you know, artificial intelligence. You can write stories. You can ask your father or mother stories in just 10 seconds. Okay, these are all the words I'm giving. Create a story. They can do it. They can put it in an AI tool and then give you. So world is changing fast, fast, fast. So like that, it's going to be a booming thing, right? So what? how shall we start with? Let's start this year. First, let's close the previous year, 2023, with Thanksgiving. Okay, done. So what to do for Thanksgiving? So give personal thanks to, maybe I do like this. I take a page or a notebook. I start writing thanks to all. First of all, in my mind, I tell thanks. First of all, I close my eyes and then I think about how and all life went and how the whole year went, who all helped me. And then I thank. And then at times I take a notebook like this, a small notebook. And then I start writing 
thanks for this thanks for the pen my father bought thanks for the dress what my mom bought thanks for the bicycle my grandfather bought or whatever it is thanks for the good food my mother is providing thank you very much for the table and chair what i'm having thank you very much for the wonderful school thank you very much for the teachers i have thank you very much for the beautiful hair i have so it can be anything okay anything and everything what you are happy about shall we do that yes it's a writing exercise so before the 2024 new year starts before you send bye to 2023 you are taking a notebook and then writing this is one of the writing exercise for you i'll be very happy if someone can write a nice thanks letter to 2023 and send it to contact us will be international uh, contact us will be international.com for sure if it's a very beautiful work we will send you a gift but then take it as an assignment and do, do it. No compassion, but we'll be very happy to receive such letters from you. You can send a thanks letter to 2023 or thank as many people. I used to write hundreds of people thanks. Thanks for the vegetable vendor. Thanks for the watchman. Thanks for the cleaning person. Thanks for the cooking person. Thanks for my mom. Thanks for my dad. Like that, like that, like that. I write thanks for all my friends. And then I'll finish writing hundreds of them. Is it a nice idea? Thanking everybody. Because my teacher, my guru taught me like this. Thank all the things what you have in life so that you will have more and more things coming as blessings to you. So that is one way of thanking. Second way of thanking, simple thing. Just write a written notes. Make small greetings and then surprisingly give it to your uh, mother or father or teacher. Thank you so much for being a beautiful uh, being, uh, no human around me or whatever. Write nice like words. I'm not getting it. So beautiful words you write, thanks ma, thanks pa, thanks brother, thanks sister, something like that. You give a thanks writing, you know, greetings and then give it to them. Or little bit, if you have some saving money or something, you can also give people. You can ask the mom and father, pa, and then you can ask them, shall we give for a few people? So somebody, you know, watchman, son or daughter or anybody whom you feel like giving. So that's where we are coming with this year. When you are coming to international level, you are all going to get into a project uh, named HS4, Human Security for All. You are going to get into a project where we are going to help a lot of people. You know what is HS4? Human Security Fund that is going to be a part of your assignment. This is an international organization. So it is supported by World Academy for Arts and Science. And they are going to be your certifying partners for fluency exercises. Along with your international certificate, these people also will give you a certificate if you are participating in fluency exercises. There is no extra charges or anything, but you just join and then you can express your ideas. You can write a poem. You can write uh, an essay. You can do a speech, record it and then send it to us. You can write an idea and send it to us. You can do a beautiful artwork and send it to us like that. So you are going to work for a greater cause and community also. So before that, let's send, send the new year very nicely. And then by giving uh, Thanksgiving, and if you want to give, keep on giving gifts to people, okay, small gifts, anything with people will be happy. Even a pen, pencil with a lot of love, if you give it, thank you very much, you are a very nice friend. No, just it's a matter of 100 rupees. Like 10 pencils you can get and then you can send give somebody 100 rupees we spend like this in our life, isn't it? So we ask our father, I want this, I want this. Go to hotel, we are spending 1,000 rupees, 2,000 rupees. Just for 100, 200, go and then give a lot of underprivileged people or any of your friends, all up to you, up to your parents and then you can ask them. So after that, we are uh, going to start writing some resolutions. What are we going to do for this new year? Anything new. So for some things, our parents must be fighting along with us. Hey, don't forget this. How are you forgetting every time? Why are you keeping the tap open? Why are you not switching off the lights? Why should? Why don't you fold your cloth and keep it well? Why don't you put your or used cloth in a bin properly? Isn't it? Can you all type I, I, I? If you have a request from your parents like that, any one request. Study well, finish your homework, take the book and read, don't shout, don't be messy, like that. Can you just go and then type I, 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 yeah, right? So they all have requests. 
So just to make them to be happy, easy, shall we start uh, developing some habits? Okay. Okay. Maybe if your eyesight is poor, you can learn some eye exercises, right? So you can close your eyes and then see the sunlight for just five minutes in a day. Maybe morning between by eight o'clock or seven and seven a.m. You can close your eyes and then see, and then you learn some eye massages and then massage around your eyes because these days you are keep on seeing the you know uh, media and then your eyes are getting strained. Or develop a new habit like morning. I am going to start my day with a green juice. Mama will give me a green juice made of curry leaves, mint, and other leaves. Yeah, how many of you will be happy for that? Can you just type me, 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 me? Yes for green juice or yes for a vegetable soup. Can you just type me, 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 me? Green juice, vegetables. Yeah, see how many of them are saying no, no, me, 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 me. Yeah, okay. But that, that food, if it is going to help you grow well and then glow well, why not you pick it up, right? Otherwise, you need to wear your glasses very soon. Do you want to wear your glasses and then keep on increasing the, even if you're wearing glasses, I read a book on glasses to no glasses. I suggest many people like that. You can even take out your glasses provided you take green juices, you take vegetables, you do some eye exercises, you do some you know, uh, something like with the sunlight with closed eyes, like that. And then, you know, the farming, all these things, even for, okay, it's a subject by itself, right? So like that, we can develop some habits, isn't it? Maybe uh, this year I'm going to uh, clean my plates and then keep it clean. This year I'm going to keep my wardrobe clean always, right? This year I'm going to fold my dress and then keep it. I know where my dress is. This year mama should not check my homework notebook. I know what homework to be done. I will do it. I know when to study for my exam. I will study. Done? Yes? Shall we try? Now, you should not set up goals like what I am saying. It's very difficult to follow. So, goals should be clear like this. Right? So, you know how the goal should be? Okay, I have only two to three minutes. Certain one is going to come. So, the goal should be very simple ones like this. Specific, clear cut. Okay? And then you should loop it with some other habit. Before going to bed, I'm going to read a storybook. So you will finish reading a lot of storybooks. You will finish all the best ones. Or before going to bed, I'm going to write in my diary. Yoga, I'm going to buy a diary. See, I, I designed this uh, like orange organizer. Sometimes uh, the, uh, the gifts come to you, you know, in the name. So we designed this. We have an internal team, so we designed it. And uh, we design it because we use it. So we write the pending jobs. Uh, we write our goals. We write our principles of life. And then we follow it. You can write whatever you want to follow. You write, choose the one and then you write. So every day, because I learned a lot, I, I read the biography of uh, hundreds of people. And then you know what they say? All these people write their diary. All of them, they write their diary. Hey, you're sleeping, don't sleep. Very important thing I'm saying. Okay? So, they all write diaries. Before the bed, they write, what did I do today? And once they get up, uh, before they start their uh, active life, they write, what I'm going to do today, do today, what is the priority? And these people keep writing their pending jobs. And then keep taking, okay, these are all the pending jobs I've finished. Do you know what are all these concepts? These concepts are called management concepts. I've learned it when I was doing my management studies. I've learned, learned it when I was teaching management knowledge to people, only to college students, only to PG MBAs. But I believe one thing, Harshik, I believe even young kids can do. Yeah, that's you, I'm talking to you. So even young kids can do management uh, works. They can do management practices. You can bring it. Time management, you can learn it. House management, you can learn it. Finance management, you can learn it. Conversations, you can learn it. Parents, uh, like how to negotiate with parents, you can learn it. Is it a useful thing? 
So if your parents are from great world, well, they all must be in great career. So learn one thing from your parent every day. Is it not interesting? Yes. So that can be also an agenda. Okay. Before my dinner time, I'm going to learn one thing from my father or from my mother or from grandfather. Papa, teach me what is this? How do you manage a conflict? How do you manage time? Or how do you manage organizing things? Mama, how do you juggle so many jobs in your hand? How you are so very patient? How are you getting your energy? Like that, ask interesting questions like the interviewer and suggest, learn something. So what is given in books is much, much, much lesser than what kind of knowledge your parents are having. Your parents are having lots of knowledge because they have seen life for 30, 40 years and then they have seen the world, they have seen the career, they have studied already for 21 to 25 years. Is it not? Yes or no? Are we not having heroes as our parents? <coughs> Are they all heroes for us? Yeah, listen one thing, learn one thing from them. Okay, today teach me something and ask them to organize. Tell me what is your agenda? What are you going to teach for me today? Okay, so and then learn from that. That's all. So, and I'm going to end it with a request from you all. I'm going to give a form to you. So as I've told you, so these are all at home. Something you can do for the community also. Like, uh, there is a statistics which says <clears throat> 20 lakh people die every year without food in our country. <clears throat> 20 lakh people die. That is 2 million. 6 million people die in the world without having proper food. Food. But then... When food comes to our plate, we say, oh, no, I don't want greens, I don't want vegetables. What food is this? Why sambar rice? Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? To get one bunch of green leaves, request your parents to set up a kitchen garden. <coughs> to get one bunch of green leaves, you may have to water the plant for nearly two to three months of time. With two to three months of time, somebody is selling you for 10 rupees a bunch of greens. And after cooking it with all the hard work, we feel like, ah, I don't want, I don't like greens at all. I don't like brinjals. I don't like vegetables. I don't like this. But those are all the things which are going to give you good eyesight. Those are all the things which are going to give you a very glowing skin and a very alert, beautiful mind. Brain is very important, no? You'll be very brainy if you eat very good amount of vegetables and very good amount of balanced food. All right? Okay? So, it's not only taking care of you, you're going to take care of community also if your parents wish. To some extent. Okay, I'm not going to waste water. Because in India itself, there are many people are walking for kilometers to get one pot of water. And I should not brush my teeth mindlessly like this, opening the tap, keeping the tap, tap open. Right? And the water will be gushing. Hey, what are you doing? Come out of the bathroom. No, I'm taking bath. The shower is running, running, running like anything. We are mindless about things. Right? So those things you can change this year. So specific, measurable, achievable, realistic time bomb. What time you are going to adopt this? How you are going to adopt it? And what you are going to? Shall we write at least five goals? So if you are writing around five to ten goals, send the thing to us. My name is Devakani. And you can mention attention Devakani ma'am. Okay. Yeah, attention Devakani also you can write. No need for ma'am. So attention Devakani ma'am. Attention Devakani. Okay. So you can mention and then send the letter to me. Ma'am, this, this, uh, this habit I have developed. So uh, please uh, check. Whether it is right, do you like it? So I can be a friend of you. Not all the time I'll be able to answer, but I try to answer as much as I can. All right? So do that. So I'm going to give you something on HS4A. Okay, it's time for Arunam. Are you here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Bala sir, please share the link. We are going to share, uh, the already the link is shared. There is a student engagement form. Click that form. Go to the chat box and click the form. In that form, okay, you can ask your parents' help. They can come in the screen, please do not worry. Your parents are very great people. So ask them to be in the screen. We do not mind. Okay, so they are teaching you. So do not worry about they coming on the screen. 
okay and uh, okay click this and then you can fill up okay i am going to part so we are all getting into a uh, like a collaborative activity along with world academy of arts and science and human security for all organization so world academic uh, world academy for arts and science is an organization started by uh, albert einstein oppenheimer and few other people and for the security of the world like environmental security lot of things so we will be taking a separate session on that not in this session today it's a boot camp it's to cover the subjects okay and uh, we will be taking a separate class so for the, uh, the we are connecting this world academy of arts and science project hs4a along with the fluency like you are writing things you are uh, your talks you can develop your public speaking skills you can develop your writing skills and you can uh, do an artwork and send it to us this if it is selected it will come in international sites also and you will be appreciated all of you whoever is participating it's an optional thing all of you whoever is participating will get an e certificate if you are uh, in the top per positions uh, giving beautiful entries we will be sending a hard copy of the certificate along with the gift so you can be in the public speaking you can be in debate you can do artwork uh, quickly type which comes to you very well artwork debate public speaking so which one it comes to you very well so doing a painting or do, doing a video talk or debate or speech or growing a kitchen garden or a community servicing which one comes to you very well so just type in the chat box so that's very interesting to see beautiful so the same thing is there in the questionnaire we are just asking in the questionnaire in the link which which activity you are interested once you uh, show your interest then we will call all the interested people and we will tell you what is the competition is this not exactly competition it's a participation in the global awareness campaign so but then we have gifts also so what is the program is all about and what is expected from you what are the specification done yes thank you very much so have a great new year maybe i'll try to come at the end of it and then tell you again once again Happy New Year to you all. Okay, over to Kani Mori Arasi ma'am. Shall we all welcome her? Yeah, let's clap and then welcome Kani Arul Mori Arasi ma'am. So she is here and she is here with a wonderful agenda. I liked her session yesterday. Today she is telling much much more interesting. She is having a lot of games. I'm waiting for her. Over to you, Arul ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. A very good evening to all my darling students here. Welcome to the boot camp. So what is a boot camp and why do we have this? This is going to be like your preparation, but more like uh, with games. You don't like lectures, no? If somebody is going to speak to you for a very, very long time, showing you all the important things, of course you don't like it. No? So let's play some games and also learn. We'll do them both together. So that is what is going to happen. And in this session, I will be handling two rounds. Kani ma'am will be handling two rounds. You're all in grade two, right? Class two, that's correct. Beautiful. And here, I have your grade two book. Is this your grade two book? Okay, for some of you, the wrapper might be different, but the contents will be the same, okay? So for this uh, session, what we have here is three new rounds. For your national level, you have three new rounds, right? Can you see here? Crossword, word weaving, compound words and kinds and types of words. So it's a single round. Compound words and kinds and types of words is a single round. So you have three new rounds, but then you also have something that is going to continue. That is your words and meanings round. For your state level, you had only 300 words meanings, right? If you know in your uh, round one, spell it right, you have many words. Does anybody know how many words are there totally? Anybody knows in your spell it right how many words you have? Very good. 1,000 words you have in your round one, right? And you have learned the meanings of 300 words in your state level. And now you're going to go to national level. You're going to learn 300 more words meanings. Can we do that? And we are going to do that right now. Okay. 
So I will be doing that. I will also be doing crossword. And after I finish that, Kanimam will come and handle the other two rounds. Clear? Can we start? Yes. Okay. Okay. If you do not have the level three book, the national level book, it is okay. No problem because in this session, I'm also going to share the book pages with you. You can learn from the video. So even if you don't have the book, it's okay. But if you do have the book, take your book and keep it with you. Okay. And for the exam, you can expect all of these rounds. So starting from spell it right till this new round, compound words and kinds and types of words, all the rounds will be there for the exam. Is that clear? Okay. For some rounds, you will have only five questions. For some rounds, you will have 10 questions and every question will carry one mark. So totally 100 questions and totally 100 marks. And we don't have negative marking in Spell B. So in case if you're not sure about the answer, you can still write the answer. If it is right, you will get marks. If it is wrong, you will not lose any mark. You understand that? So don't leave any question unattended. Answer all the questions, okay? So this is the overview. And now let's begin our round. So this is the round that I'm going to speak on today. Words and meanings. So like we already discussed, for your state level, you uh, you finished A to F, right? And now we are going to do from G to P. But for the exam, don't prepare only from G to P. Questions from A to P will be asked. Be prepared for that. I hope that's clear to you. Clear? Yes. Can I proceed? Only if you say yes, I will proceed. Are you typing yes? Oh, give me a thumbs up. Yes, can we start? Okay. Okay, in this session, we are going to do page by page. And after you look at all the words that are there in this page, I will be showing you a picture and you will be guessing the word for the picture. So there are some words that you may not know, but there are many words that you might already know, right? So gadget can be a small device that is useful for a job, like for example, a phone or a camera. So you know this. Gallop is how the horse moves. Other words, I think it's very easy, no? Garlic, gash is a long cut, a deep cut. Gather, gaze is to look like this intensely. General, dreamy. What is a genie? An imaginary magical spirit that is believed to be trapped in a lamp or any other magical object. And it will grant the wishes of uh, the person who has released that genie from that object. No? And give up is to accept failure. Glacier is a slow-moving, big mass of ice. So these are the words. If you are ready, I will now show you the picture. And you will tell me which word is it. And you can type in the chat. Are you ready? That word will be only from this page. Okay? Ready, start, go. What is this? You have to type in the chat. Very good. And don't make any spelling mistakes. That's very important. If you make any spelling mistakes and spell it right, you will not lose, you will lose the mark. Okay. And I'm happy that you, no, everybody is giving me the correct answer and with the correct spelling. That's great. Genie, no, 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 no. I saw two spelling mistakes. I think you're in a hurry to type, but uh, when you're uh, in the exam, when you're typing, writing, be very careful. Okay. Now let's go to this page. Glance, glide, gong, good Friday, goodbye, gown, grain, grouser, guest, guide, gym. Is there any tough word here? Glide is to move in a smooth way. Gong is a large circular metal object. See, I think one, two, three, fourth picture here. That's the gong. And when you hit it, it makes a long, deep noise. I think every other word is easy. Can I show you the picture? Are you ready, guys? Okay. Here comes the picture. What is this? This is a 
Very good. I thought this will be difficult for you because I deliberately did not explain the word. This is guide. So he is a person. So guide can be something or someone. No, we saw that in the meaning. Did you read that? So a guide can be this person who is explaining about the place or it can even be a map like this. No, see, guide, where is guide? Yeah, someone or something that leads, directs and shows the right way. Good job. Now let's see the next one. Hackett halts hammer happen hefty. Hefty means being large and heavy. Helicopter. Hem. Hem is to stitch a piece of cloth. Um, hence, heard hereby, heroic. Are you ready for the picture? The words are all here? Yes. I want to see thumbs up. Only if you're showing me the thumbs up, then I'm going to show you the picture. Ready? Okay, let's see who is going to type first. Okay. What is the word? What is the word? Very good. Rescue is not there in that page. The answer is heroic. Very good. I wanted to put a superhero picture. Then I thought, no, this is more heroic. No? So he's a firefighter who is not just saving human lives, but also the animals' lives. This is heroic. He is a true hero. Very good. Now let's go to the next page. Are you ready? Okay. Let's see the words for this. Hind, meaning back. Higher hind legs means the back legs. No? At the back. Higher holiday. Honk. Mm, however, hunger, hunts, hyperactive, which meaning, uh, it means very, very active. Identity, idiots, impress. Are you ready for the picture? The picture is going to appear in, where are the thumbs ups? Uh, the picture is going to appear. I need the thumbs up, Shrey. You've not seen the words? Thumbs up? Okay, thank you. Now is Oh, you're also giving emojis for heroic. Very nice. Moving on to this page. And the picture that is related to this page. What is the word? Very good. Hunger is the right answer. Good job. Very good. Okay, moving on to the next page. Improper, just not proper, right? Impure, inability, inane. That's a difficult word. Inane means being completely stupid or silly. Inborn, something that is existing within a person. Inborn qualities, okay? They don't learn it. They already have it. So that is inborn. Include, income, incoming, increase, independence. These are the words. Now, where are the thumbs ups? In name like Supandi, exactly. That is right. So you have applied the meaning of the word. Very good. Okay, can I show you the picture? I'm waiting for the thumbs ups. Very good. Thank you. Now I will release the picture. Tell me the word for this one. Very good. Not idiot. Idiot is not the word. When we saw the list of words, we did not see idiot there. Inane, very good. You cannot say stupid or silly because that's not the word we want here. Good job, everyone. Now let's go see the next page. Here we have indigo. Indigo, I'm sure you know this as one of the colors in the rainbow. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow. What comes after yellow? With Giord. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, very good. After orange? Ah, after orange, very good. Red, superb. So indigo is a dark purplish blue color, right? And it is obtained from a plant, this dark. Okay, inedible, you know, not a, we cannot eat it, not good to eat. Inert, meaning very still, not moving. Inflate, to fill up air, inform, you know, inhabit, to live, initial, the first letter of a person's name or something that's happening for the, at the beginning, that's initial. So the initial speaker for today was Devkani Ma'am. 
right? In with two ends, it means a small hotel. And input can be an advice, suggestion, or something that you feed into a computer. So that is inputs. Now, if I see your beautiful thumbs up in the air, I will now show you Bhavik. That's the wrong emoji. Yeah, very good. Now, where is the picture? Here is the picture. Not blue. Not impure. This is how the color indigo is obtained from the plants. Very good. You know what is actually indigo? What is the meaning of indigo? Anybody knows? Anybody knows what is indigo named after? Nobody? I'll tell you. Ah, yes, I got the answer from somebody. Very smart you are. I'm very proud of you. Actually, indigo is, yeah, another person also gave me the correct uh, answer. The word indigo comes from the Greek word indico, which means from India. So it is from our country that this color was first made from. Okay. Now the next page. Okay. Incense. To bring something to sense. Instead, I prefer ice cream instead of a cookie. Um, instruments. It can be a musical instrument or an instrument in the physics, chemistry, lab, a tool, okay? Insults, interacts, introduce, invent, irresponsible, is, and it is not is. Can you see the phonetics? It's is, it, italics. Italics is a kind of a style of writing where you like write in a slanted way, like this. To emphasize something, like for example, okay. I will show you here. Why aeroplane? Why are you typing aeroplane? I don't have aeroplane here. Do I have an aeroplane? No. Okay, now let's see if you're able to get the answer for this one. He managed, he had managed to eat 10 cookies. I love the word flabbergasted. Very good, italics. So they want to emphasize, put importance to that particular word. So that is why it is written in a different font. So that is italics. Good job. Let's see the next page. Okay, item it's itself dreams, jerkin, jersey, jettison, jetty. Jettison, that's a difficult word. A jettison is to get rid of something. Okay, so when you want to speed up and from the aeroplane, you throw something out or from the ship, you throw something out, something that's weighing a lot. So when you throw it, you can gain momentum, you can gain speed. So that is to get rid of something that is jettison. Okay, and jetty is what you have here in the third picture. Actually, fourth picture. Jetty is a long, narrow structure that goes from the land into the water where you can get in the boat or get out of the boat. That is like more like a platform, right? That's jetty. Okay. Jig is a lively dance or it can also be a trick or a game. Okay. Jovial is just cheerful and friendly. Joyous is how we are this season, this Merry Christmas season. I think everything is simple, right? I have very deliberately avoided explaining one word, which will be coming to you now. If you have been looking carefully at the page, you will be able to answer for this question. Are you ready? I did not explain this word. Let me see if you looked at the page carefully. Very good. I'm so impressed. Good job, guys. This is right. Jersey. So that is a kind of a cow. That breed is called Jersey. And also the sports or special uh, dress that they wear. That is also jersey. Very good. Same word. Pronounced the same way. Now, let's see this one. Another easy page. Juicy, jumbo, jumper, junk, jute. All easy, right? Jumper is uh, what you wear, like a loose outer jacket with long sleeves. 
or it can also be somebody who is jumping, right? And kerchief, kilrosin, kiln. Kiln is where they make the bricks, like it becomes hard. That mud is baked into bricks. So that is a kiln. Kilo. And it's not kilo, it's kilo. See, it's a long sound. Kin and kitchen. Kin is uh, a family member, somebody who is related to you. Okay, so these are the words. Are you ready for the picture? Okay. I can see somebody's index finger. Have you forgotten to raise your thumbs? Okay, good job. Okay. I also have a question based on this. Let's see. What is the word for this one? <laughs> okay. I'm so happy that I am getting two different answers. Jumbo and junk. Right? So this is a big burger. It can be considered as junk food. And this is too big. So we can also use this same picture for jumbo. Here on out, there can be many words for the same picture. And let me see if you are able to get them all. But does anybody know from where did this word jumbo come to English? Anybody knows? Jumbo was actually not Latin. Yes, 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 yes. I saw somebody typing the correct answer. Because you're typing very fast, I'm not able to get the name. It is uh, actually, yeah, another person gave me the right answer. An elephant's name. That is right. This is that elephant. The giant African elephant, his name was Jumbo. And uh, everybody came and saw him. He was taken from Africa to London. So this elephant was huge. And his name was Jumbo. And that is how we have this word Jumbo in English right now. Okay. This page. Need. It also has the same sound as N-E-E-D. Right? You need to need some more. <laughs> so here you can understand that in the sentence we have both need and need. But here we have K-N-E-A-D. When you press something firmly, like what your mom does or your dad does before they make parathas and chapatis, right? Need. Knife. Knitwear. Knitwear is uh, clothes made by uh, knitting. Like connecting wool and other kinds of thread into jointed rows. You know what's a knitwear? The cloth or the costume that you have at the end of knitting. So that is knitwear. Knowledge. Labor, lamppost, language, lather. Lather is what uh, you produce when you keep rubbing soap on your body continuously. When you have a lot of time to bathe. Lather. Latter, something that comes later. Second or later, not the first. The opposite of first is latter. And lawn. I think every other word is easy. Now, if you're ready... The picture is going to come to you in three, two, one. Guess what is this? Anybody knows? Nitwar, very good. And Nitwar starts with K. K is not, uh, it's silent, but you have to write it, right? It's not baby wear. It's not sweater. <laughs> the word we want is Nitwar. Very good. Good job. Now let's go see the next page. It's right here. Layer. Wow, this layer cake looks awesome, right? And it has the color of the rainbow. Vibrior. Layer, leader, leap, learn, least, leather, leggings, library, lifespan. I think lifespan can be difficult. The length of the time for which a person or an animal actually lives. Okay, so that's the lifespan. So tortoises have really long lifespans. I think every word is uh, easier. So let's see the picture. Ready? Are you all ready? 
Can I show you the picture? Coming your way right away. What is the word? Good job. The answer is leap. And everybody is giving me with the correct spelling. Not jump, dear. This is leap. We saw leap in this page. You remember that? Leap. It's right here. To jump a long distance or over something. Okay. Let's go see the next page. Mm, yes. Lift. Likeable. Lively. Livestock. So what is livestock? Animals and birds that are raised on a farm, such as cow, sheep, etc. They are livestock. Load. Lobster. Lobsters, they live in the ocean and they are animals with shell, like prawns, but bigger. And locality, where uh, a particular place or an area, your surroundings, so that's a locality. Locksmith, a person who makes and repairs locks. Look after is to take care. Very simple, right? Now, I'm going to show you a big they are not usually that big, but Ridan, you're ready? I hope everybody's ready like Ridan. Let's see the picture. This is a very colorful and very huge. What? What is this? Are uh, you typing away? You don't know? You're not even to type? So sorry, somebody has changed the setting. Please do type now. You will be able to type. Yes, yes. This is a lobster. This is a giant Pacific lobster. Usually they are not this big, but I found this to be very interesting. Colorful and huge. People actually eat this, you know that? Yeah. Now let's go see the next one. This page. Okay. Loop. And remember, all these words might look similar, sound similar, but they don't have the same sound. Your 430th word is loose. Loose. When something is not firmly tied. When you wear like clothes that are your older brothers or sisters or your moms and dads. They don't fit correct, right? They are loose on you. But with one single O, like L-O-S-E, then it is loose Z sound, okay? And this is loss, loss, okay? And loudspeaker, we know. Lump, we know. Lump sum is a large one-time payment. Like if you're buying a car, you can either uh, pay in uh, EMIs, like you pay some money every month, or you can pay the entire amount and get something. So when you pay the entire amount, it's called lump sum. Okay. And what is lush? It means being juicy and fresh, just like this mango here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you. And please remember to type the correct spelling of the word. Okay. Ready? It's not a loss. Yeah, you lose. When the game is over and you're not able to complete it, you lose. Very good. So the spelling we want is L-O-S-E. Not L-O-O-S-E. Okay, next page. Main, the most important thing. Mammal, animals that give birth to young ones and feed milk so mammals don't lay eggs okay so fish generally they are not mammals but whales are mammals dolphins are mammals mammoth extremely huge in size or it can also mean this elephants uh can you tell me in which movie have you seen a mammoth have you watched this movie it's an animation movie it starts with the letter i 
Ice Age. Very good. Correct. So in if you've not, it's a good movie you can watch. So where are we? Let me yeah. Zoom in. Main mammal mammoth. Ma manger. This is not manager. After N, we don't have A. So this is manger. Manger is a long, low, open box. Like the second picture here, they, they use this kind of uh, uh, feeding system for cattle, horses. They eat out of this. So this is a manger. Okay. Maple. Maple is a kind of a large tree. Ma. What is ma? Ma is to destroy or spoil the looks or quality of something. Okay. March. It can mean the third month of can mean the way somebody walks in a parade or they even say ants march right uh, when uh, animals move in a coordinated fashion it's called march right and market i'm sure you know the word markets now let me show you the picture are you ready this is a very funny picture that's going to come to you one two three where is the picture Oh, I've said three. Now, where's the picture? Come on. Yes. What are these penguins doing? They are walking in a very coordinated fashion, right? So this is marching. But how will they look when they are running? Will they also be coordinated just like this? What do you think? When they run, can they still walk like this in a very coordinated fashion? Let's see. Yes, even when they are running, it's very coordinated, right? So this is how penguins move, just like ants. They are very, very coordinated. Next page, mast. Mast is the long pole, like you can see in the first picture. So this is a sailboat. And these sails are held in place with the help of this long upright pole, right? So that is called a mast. So only from that, uh, the sails are supported. You can adjust it, you can change the direction, all that you can do by adjusting the mast. Material, I think you know this, a substance from which you make something. So wooden furniture, wood is the material. Maze is a complicated, confusing pathway. Maze, I think you also solve uh, maze puzzles. Right? You know what a maze is. Means the method of doing something or the amount of income, time, something that a person has to do something. So that is means. I don't have enough means to do that. Means he does not have enough uh, things like money or uh, people to do something. So that is means. Medalist. Somebody who has won a medal. Member, a family member, member of the company. So somebody who belongs somewhere. So when they belong, what they have is a membership, right? I think mention is simple. And this is menu. You have to say you, not menu. Menu is not correct. Menu, right? And mercy. Mercy is the act of kindness or forgiveness towards somebody. I think all easy. Are you all ready for the picture? This is an easy one. I think nobody should get this wrong, okay? Let's see. What is this? Okay. Let me see your answers. Good. Very good. I'm happy when you are getting small words because you're typing very, very quickly. Good. Now let's see this. Mesh. What is a mesh? The first picture is here. That is your, that's a mesh. A strong net-like material. Can, it's made with plastic or metal or thread. Okay. And to fit and work together successfully, that is also mesh. And what is mess? Mess can be an untidy place or uh, a situation. Mess can also be the place in the building where people go and eat. Like uh, in the school, you can have a mess. In the military, you can have the mess. In hospitals, you have mess, right? Um, method. I know what, I think all the rest of the words are easy. Method, middle, midnight. Midway, might means strength. Milk tooth is what you had, I think. Some of you have lost your milk teeth. 
your permanent teeth have come now okay i'll ask a question related to that how many milk teeth will you have when you become an adult prajita call me dear what's happening in the chat as adults you will have 32 permanent teeth but milk teeth how many will you have only one or two of you have given me the correct answer you will have 20 milk teeth okay so minimize to reduce and the last one is interesting minute means 60 seconds right and minute means very tiny in size see you can see both the pronunciations in the phonetics now i'm going to show you a picture and the same picture will be for two words but this word has two different meanings. So you're only going to type one word, okay? One word, two different meanings. Are you ready? What can this be? Very good. That is a very messy mess. They are creating a mess. And where they are eating, that is a mess. Very good job messy mess right this page is has very easy words mirror you know what is a mirror i'm sure every day you look at the mirror at least five times at least three times yeah mischief how many of you are very mischievous here or i should ask your parents are you very naughty do we have naughty children here no some of you are naughty Sometimes you're naughty, not all the time. So yeah, I love mischief makers. That's okay. But when we are studying, let's stick to what you're supposed to type here, okay? Miser is somebody who does not uh, willingly part with his money or things that he has. He will not want to spend at all, okay? That's a miser. And mislead. Mislead is to make someone to believe in something or give a poor direction. Like, they are not a great leader, okay? Misleads. Taking uh, people in the wrong direction, yeah? Mistake, we know, mixer, mixture, mob can be a large group of people. Usually, this word is used to refer to angry crowd, okay? Mob, M-O-B. With P, that is something that you use to clean the floor, right? That's mob. This is mob. Modern, moist. Being slightly wet, not dripping wet, moist. And molar is a kind of a large teeth at the back of your mouth that is used to uh, crun, crush or chew the food. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a real fact that happened. You will be surprised to read it, but then it applies to one word here in this page. Are you ready? Okay. This happened for real. I was surprised to read this. In 2005, one sheep decided to jump over a cliff, enticing nearly 1,500 others to follow. Only the first 450 sheep were killed because the remaining animals were falling on the dead bodies below. So they were not, they did not hit the hard ground. So what did that first sheep do? Yes, it misled. Mislead. Very good. I'm so proud of you all. Good job. If somebody had typed the wrong answer and if everybody copied that student, then that will also be an example of mislead. But here, nobody misled. Good job, everyone. Proud of you. Now, let's see the next one. Money. We know what money is. Everybody knows what money is. Morsel is a small piece of food. Okay. Mosquito. That annoying little insects that bzz in our ears sometimes bites us also. Motor, mouthpiece, music. Ah, myth can be a difficult word. Myth is like a traditional story about gods, heroes, magic. And many people believe this uh, to have happened, or many people strongly believe in this. But we do not know for sure if this has really happened. Okay. And nameless, having no name. And narrate is to. Um, say a story or an incident that has happened that is narrates okay now are you ready for the picture yes yes 
I'm going to show you the picture now. What is this? Very good. This is a myth. Good job. What is this page? This page has narrator, somebody who narrates, is a narrator. Okay, the storyteller. And naughty. We just saw naughty. No, we saw mischief. Yeah. Next, we know all this. Next, need, needy. Somebody who is very poor, we call them needy. Okay. And this word, it can even be nephew and nephew. Both the pronunciations are correct. Next, we know this. What is newt? Newt is a small lizard-like animal with long, thin body, short legs, and a tail. And it's an amphibian. You know what's an amphibian, no? It can live both in land and water. Can you tell me any other animal that is an amphibian? Frog. Only frog. You all know frog. Crocodile. Turtle. Salamander. Very good. Right. Now I'm going to show you. Okay, two more words. After newt, we have next door. Easy. And nibble is to eat by taking very small bites of food. Okay? You're not uh, gobbling. The opposite of gobbling is nibbling. Okay? Mm -hmm. You eat very, very tiny, tiny parts out of the food. Especially when you don't like it. You eat like that. Now I'm going to show you a picture. Toad. Lobster, I don't think it lives on land. What is this? Very good. This is a newt. Many students might not know. They might call this lizard. But you know, this has a name and it is newt. Right. This page. Nightmare, a very scary dream. Right. Or a very frightening situation. What is noise? What we make when the teacher is not in the classroom. Yes. None. Nothing. You know, all these words. What is a noun? That's the naming word. It can be a name of a place, a thing, or a quality, or a person. The naming word, that's the noun. Now, right now, at this moment, right? Nurse, we know this. Nursing home, we know this. Where our parents take us when we are sick. Obedience, we know this. Obey, okay. When uh, you obey, you are obedient. No? Very simple. Now, I am going to show you the picture for two words. Same picture for two words. You can type with comma. Very good. Obey or obedience. Same, na? Whisper. He is whispering. You're not able to hear what he's saying. Is that why? He's speaking to the dog. And that dog is very disciplined. See, it's not eating it. Very good. Okay, next page. Occupy, we know this, to fill up space or to live in a house. Odd, something that is strange or odd numbers. Like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, it goes like that. So these are odd numbers. What are the other kind? What is 2, 4, 6, 8? Anybody knows? What are those numbers called? Very good. Those are called even numbers. Good job. So the opposite of odd numbers are even numbers. And oil, we know that. Omnibus, you know something? What we call the bus, actually the full form of that word is omnibus. We have contracted it like how we have done to gymnasium. Gymnasium has become gym. Laboratory has become lab. Similarly, omnibus has, has now become just bus. And oneself, one way, ooze. So when you cut open the chocolate lava cake, the chocolate filling that comes out, is oozing out, no? So that is ooze. A pose, official, something that you cannot take it lightly. It's like a law, official. Uh, so not official, that is optical. Oh my God, I have an optical problem. When you're not able to see properly, then you have to wear glasses. So that is optical, relating to light or sight or vision. All that is optical. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a picture. That is just for one word. What is this? 
Isn't this a very strange thing to happen? Has anybody seen this in their lives? I don't think so. So this is something that's very odd, no? Good job. All correct answers. Now let's go see the next page. All the words are easy. Can I show you the picture? Ready? One, two, three, go. What is the word? Not order. You did not read the words, did you? Outsized. Advaip, you correct. Yeah, his name is Hagrid. He has outsized everyone. I wanted you to read very quickly. Option, order, origin, odd, ourselves, outdone, outer, outfit, outpost, outsized. To be very huge or larger than the usual size. So all of these members at the table are teachers, but look at their sizes and look at Hagrid's size. But I'm surprised that you know Hagrid's name. Good. Okay. Next one. Are you ready? Have you seen the words? I'm going to give you very less time. One, two, three. Ah, one important thing I wanted to tell you is about this word. Pant and pants. Pant is to breathe hard and quickly. Like after, what you do after if you've run for a very long time. You pant. Okay. And what is this? This is pants. What you wear as a lower garment, like below the hips. You cannot call that a pant. That is pants. Like scissors, binoculars, you have to say pants or trousers. Pant is this breathing and pants is the garment. Okay. So if you've seen the words, the picture is right here. What is the word we are looking for? Very good. Pamper. What is the meaning of pamper? Did you see that? Pamper means to give someone excessive care or extreme comfort. So this is how you pamper your pet. Okay, next. Parallel part. Parting. Passage. Passenger. Passerby. Passport. Password. Pat. Patience. Are you ready? Any difficult word? Parallel lines are like the railway tracks. They are like next to each other. Parched. Very thirsty. Parting. Leaving. Passage. Passenger. Passerby. I think all the rest of the words are easy, right? Okay. The picture is coming. Can you tell me what's the word now? Very good. Parting is right. Good job. He's leaving, no? So that's parting. Okay. Let's see now. Paw, pebble, peach, peak, peck, peep, pending, per, petal. Are you ready? Have you seen all the words? In five, four, three, two, one. Your picture's gone up here. I'll play again. What's the word? Good job. So this is what the birds generally do, but they don't usually go pecking the crocodile, but this is one naughty bird. It just pecked at the crocodile and flew away. Right, next one. Petroleum, petty, photocopy, peas, pillowcase, pin, pinafore, pipeline, pirates. Pirates. Now, that's a very, not peak, P-E-C-K, peck, good. P-E-A-K is like the tallest mountains, right? The top part of the mountain, that's a peak. This is a peck. Now, the picture for this page is going to come to you right now. What is the word? Anybody knows? Very good. The word is pinafore. Many Indian schools, even international schools, they have this as their uniform, a pinafore. 
We don't have pretty here. Do we have pretty? No. The word is pinafore. But if you think she looks pretty, that's good. Okay, pit, pit, pitiful, plain, plan, planets, plastic, platform, platter, playful. Please, I think everything is easy. We don't have any difficult word here. Platter can be a new word to you. A large shallow plate for serving food or it can mean a special meal, okay? So that's a platter. Now I'm going to show you the picture. You can tell me the word. Playful. Very good. Just like you, right? You're very playful. Very naughty. Okay. Pleasing. Plump. Plural. Pockets. Poets. Polar. Polish or Polish. Polite, pollution, photo. See, here the word of uh, 580th word, P-O-L-I-S-H, can mean to rub and make a uh, surface very clean and shiny. So that is to polish. And what is Polish? That is people from uh, the country Poland or the language of Poland. So two different pronunciations, two different meanings. Now I'm going to show you a picture and I want you to write two words for it. Okay. Are you ready? Same picture, but for two words. Have you seen all the words? One, two. The picture is going to come to you. Same picture, two words. Write with comma. Potter is right. Not Polish. Not Polish. But this porter is very good. Only one student wrote it in the way I asked him or her to. Good job. So the two words are plump and porter. Very good. Good job. Okay. Next one. Again, I'm going to show you one picture for two words here in this page. Pose, positive, postage, poster, potato, potty, pout, pram, prepare. I think every word is simple here. Are you ready for the picture? Okay. Can you tell me the two words with the comma? Pram, correct. The other word. Very good. Pram and poster. Somebody just typed plump and porter. Good job. It's okay that you're late. Not a problem. The words for this question is pram and poster. Very good. Okay, next one. Here I have a picture for this page for one, two, three words. Okay, be ready to guess all the three. Present, pretty, previous, priceless, prime minister, princess, principal, principal. Okay, here... With AL, it means the most important, right? The head of the school or college or the uh, original money that somebody borrowed from somebody. So that is principal, AL. And principal with the LE means uh, a value or a belief and the basic truth of something. So that is with LE, okay? All right, and they both have the same sound. They are homophones. Right now, have you looked at the words? Type with commas all the three words. What can be the three words? Pretty or even princess. Present. Very good. And she's getting a diamond. So it should be very good. Priceless. Very good. Priceless. Pretty. And present. These are the words I wanted. She is looking very pretty, but I'm not sure if she is a princess. Princess. Yeah, can be. So four words then. Beautiful. Okay. This is your last page for this round. Problem. Products. Protect. Proud. Proverb. Pull. Pupil. Pajamas. Okay. And I have a picture, actually a video, that's a short video for two words. Okay. Guess both the words. One, two, three. I hope you've seen the words. Problem, product, protect, proud, 
robber, pull, pupil, pajamas. So what you wear at uh, night, comfortable clothes, that's pajamas, right? Okay, guess the two words. You can type with a comma, pull and pajamas. Very good. Pull and pajamas. Who is protecting? Nobody is protecting anybody here. Just two children here. And one is pulling and they are both wearing pajamas. Okay. With that, we have come to the end of words and meanings round. Okay. So now if you want to take a break for a minute, please do so can have some water, stretch, get up and jump, do whatever you want. Yes, stretch, blink your eyes continuously or look at something that's very far. Don't look at the screen. Take a break, a proper break for one minute. Yes. I'll start with crossword after this. This will be very fairly simple, not a very, very long round. We only have six exercises. You can drink milk. You can have a uh, very uh, simple snack. You can have your water bottle with you. You can keep sipping on water. This is a very informal session, no problem. I also want to thank all the parents who are also sitting with their kids, helping them understand and uh, typing for them. Take a break, darlings. Don't look at the screen. Just close your eyes if you want. Take an eye break. Okay. This round, no crossword. It's a very, very simple round. Only six exercises. We'll finish in like five, ten minutes. Okay, have your snack. Yes. You can keep eating while watching the session. I really don't mind. It's not like your classroom. We have a very uh, informal setting, right? But listen to me, okay? Don't just look at your food. Yeah. <laughs> can we start? Only if you're ready. Manasvi, very proud of you. That's how one should stretch. Good job, Manasvi. Yeah, stretch. Good. Very good. Okay. All right. This round, crossword, waits for you to say, okay, proceed. Okay. You're saying, okay. Those of you who are away from the screen, you can now come back. Yes, Arnesh, please eat your snack. No problem. You're ready? Thank you, Roshika. Now I'm going to start crossword. Okay. So we have, I told you like uh, just now, only six exercises and every exercise is based on a theme. Okay. You can see that this one is based on meanings. Okay. Who is the master cook in a restaurant? So that's a chef. And across, you will write from left to right and down from top to bottom. And you will start in the box where you see the number, as simple as that, okay? So a hair dresser. So where is five here? Right here, just below chef, right? And it's not chef, it's chef. Sh like shampoo, sh sound. And a hairdresser, I think, should be B-A-R-B-E-R, -E barber. Five letters, right? I think that should fit. So this is how you type or write. So when you look at the completed crossword, it will look like this. Chef, barber, and a moral story, a stuffed animal, teddy, stuffed animal toy, that's teddy, and exit nephew or nephew the second month so you're just going to write the meanings of those words that's it the next exercise is on singular and plural okay what is the plural of fleet it should be fleets mosquitoes or plural you just don't add s 
you will be adding ES, right? Bunches, candies, passers by, not passer by. The plural of passer by is passers by. And trophies, mischiefs, cookies, essays, right? So this is how it will look after you have finished writing, right? And for the exam, we will be choosing one entire, no, questions from all the exercises. So two from here, two from there, two from there, one from there, like that. So this is your third exercise that is based on clothes, okay? So this is pajamas. We know that. We just saw that, okay? Pajamas, jersey, you know that. I think this is a shirt. These are shorts or pants. And this is a kerchief, skirt, knitwear or sweater, I don't know, jackets, apron. Let's check. Pajamas, skirt, shirt, suit. Yeah, okay. T-shirt, kerchief, sweater, drawer, apron, jersey. Right? Now we are in uh, four. Exercise four is on household things. Simple ones, right? Umbrella, clock, mirror, torch, bucket, stove, mixer. Drawer. Once you fill it, it will look like this. Simple, right? Couch. Baskets. Don't get spellings wrong in the exam, especially. Then it will cost you marks. We don't want those. And these are food items. I'm sure you'll love this. Kebabs. What is this? I think a salad. Mm, sandwich. Popkin. Pizza, macaroon, ice cream, noodles. What did I miss? Sorry. Popkin, noodles, omelette I missed. Omelette? Oh, it's not ice cream. It is Sunday. Okay, pasta. I missed that too. So these are on food. I think your special words was also on food, no? This is your last exercise. This is on etymology. Here... You're going to find words that end with A-B-L-E or I-B-L-E. So what does that mean? It means can or able. Okay. So a thing that lasts for a long time is durable, I think. Right. And an object that can be carried easily should be portable. Right. Sound that can be heard, audible. Durable. Portable, audible. I got all three right. Disease that can be treated curable. Something that can be eaten is eatable. Something that can be easily broken is breakable. Suitable can be seen as visible. Agreeable, adjustable. So some words end with ABLE. Some words end with IBLE. What can be the rule here? Can you notice? Can you tell me? What can be the rule when you add ABLE and when you add IBLE? ABLE is, okay, let me see if anybody is able to guess. Look at the word before ABLE and IBLE, okay? If that can make sense as a word, then you add only ABLE, like change, notice, rely, adore. Okay, so here Y has become I, but we have lost the E here. But then these are proper words. Change, notice, rely, adore, right? And force, possible, legible. So ledge, hor, response, these are not proper words. So then you add IBLE. Simple. IBLE is when you don't have the complete word. Like for example, incred, hor, invince, elige, divis, no. So incredible, horrible, invincible. Invincible means something that cannot be uh, conquered. Very difficult to conquer. Invincible, controlled, okay? Eligible, divisible. But there are some rule breakers. For example, sense is a word. But still you have only IBLE, not ABLE. Reverse can be a word, but still it's IBLE. So in English, understand, we don't have uh, rules. So these are like common, like 95 percentage you can expect uh, words to follow rules, but 5% exceptions will always be there. Anyway. 
much. And for ABLE, you can see depend, comfort, fashion, wash, agree. These are proper words. So you have ABLE after that. Dependable, comfortable, fashionable, washable. And also you have rule breakers like hospitable, tolerable and all that. Okay. Now with that, we have come to the end of the session. And the blueprint, I think I already showed you at the beginning itself. Right? You're going to prepare for all of the 12 rounds. When you come for the national exam, please do not make a mistake for prepa by preparing only for three rounds. Starting from spell it right till compound words and kinds and types of words is what you can expect. Now, my part is done. I told you I'll complete crossword very quickly. And even when you're preparing, it will not take a lot of time. Okay. All the very best from me for your national level exam. I really hope that I see you also in your international level exam. Love you so much, Manasvi. And everybody here, who has been an excellent participant today. Following me, Kanimam is now going to start on the other two rounds. Kanimam, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. I am. I have been. <laughs> Thank you, Kanima. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Oh my God, what an one and a half hours it has been. How much knowledge you have gained and how active you are all. I'm actually happy to see all your faces. So energetic solomon can i see a close-up of these faces yes very energetic i can see knowledge seeping out of your ears i'm talking about you shlok prakash and sidra fatima sara yes about you only okay you close your ears to stop knowledge from seeping out okay good job okay all right um we're done with crossword you're done with words and meanings do you have any idea what two rounds you're going to see today with me in the next half an hour or so i'll try to finish the session by 8 8 10 all right just have two rounds were you know round rounds 11 and 12 and in my personal opinion round 11 is the simplest of rounds that you can get it's it will be like a, like a quiz a I mean crossword is a game for you, you know it's like another three games in word weaving very simple very easy and once you learn the hang of it you'll be searching for more, more games like this and uh, filling it up all right, um, your word, uh, round 11 is word weaving and round 12 is compound words and kinds of types of words, which is also easy. So when I, you know, the, 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 this is the round name, round's name, word weaving. What do I mean by weaving? Weaving? Hi, hi, Jaden. Hi, Arpana. What do I mean by weaving? You know, weaving is a word used for clothes, no? You weave a lot of threads together and make a bed sheet, a shirt, a blanket, a purse, that is called weaving. What, so what do you mean by word weaving? Just with the same kind of uh, strings, you can make different things, no? You can make uh, pouches, you can make uh, scarves, you can make mobile covers. Likewise, only with these 26, just 26 alphabets in English, you can weave uh, lakhs of words, at least at your age, thousands of words. You're just weaving new words with the alphabets that you already know. So word weaving is like a tool to enhance your vocabulary, to increase your vocabulary, to see how much word, how many words you actually know. This is the exercise of word weaving. If you can see, there are clues in this picture as to what kind of games you're going to play in this round. For example, if you see the top part, you see this wheel kind of thing. This is your exercise word wheel where you will be given jumbled letters. You need to find out what is the correct uh, word for that. And then you need to weave or take out more words from the unjumbled word. I'll tell you that. And do you see anything else here? I saw word wheel. You saw some kind of stars in the middle. Yes, you have word stars, which I will teach you when we come to it. And you have word combos. Only these three in word weaving. Let's just try solving a few questions and then we'll go to round four. Okay, uh, this is word wheel. And this, this is how it is there in your book. You'll be having 20 questions like this. Very simple, very easy. You also have pictures for each question. For example, this is your example question, okay? You have a picture in the middle. That is your clue. As soon as you see the picture, you know what is the word, no? So even if the picture is not clear in your exam, let's go. Uh, you have to unjumble the word that's surrounding the picture. So R A I N B O W, all letters are there. 
So this is rainbow. You write the word in the uh, space given below. The word is rainbow. And you have to form uh, other words with the alphabet given. For example, uh, on the screen there is rainbow, bin and now. Is there, is there any other word you can... I am, Patan, Maria, good job. I am, you can form, yes. Any other word? Any other word that you can form from these alphabets? Apart from these four, I am, brown? Not bad, brown is a brown, yes. Bow is already there. I am is there. Nib is there. Wow, beautiful. For the exam, you need to write only four words. But when you come for tie exam, that when you know score more than 90 or 95, you will be asked to write as many words as possible. As many in, and you will get marks for each word. So when you know going to, when you are going to bag a rank, you can you should write as many words as possible. Insane is not a word here. Let's try one, one question from this round. This is your question. There is an uh, image. You can't say brain. Use all the words and unjumble it. Have come to the next question, darlings. Nice, sir. Not bad. And tragic. Yes, you're correct. The word is sawdust. When uh, people do carpentry work, they use saw to cut food and the dust would fall down. That is sawdust. I say W. The UST. Yes. Sawdust is correct. So the right word is sawdust. Okay. Other words you can use? Sand can't come. No, there is no N. Sad, stud, sandwich. How? Sad, saw is correct. Saw is correct. Dust is correct. Since it's a compound word, you can also use saw as a word, dust as a word. Stud, yes. Sad, yes. Anything else? Wast, no. Wast is not a word. Saw, dust, sad, sad, stud. Anything other than this? Such is not a word. We that is slang. Yes, Pranav, I'm also sad. No, I'm not sad. Neither should you be. Okay. This is the four words that's given in your book. Saw, dust, sad, and sad. Okay. And with that, we're going to the next kind of questions you'll be getting. Word stars. This will be, no? You see, stars. And sometimes you'll be given the first and second letters or the first and the last letter. And uh, clues for the other letters, for the other words. You have to find what is the correct word. And this is how it will be there in your book. Let's try solving one or two. Okay, here you have the first two letters, P, P and B, A. Uh, an informal word for father, pa, it's already given. No, we cannot repeat letters in word wheel. No, we cannot repeat letters in word wheel. Your second question is an animal's foot that has claws and nails. Paw is correct. Yes, that is paw, an animal's foot that has claws and nails. The inner uh, surface of the hand. Palm is correct. The clothing worn from the waist to the ankles. Is it pant or pants? I'm talking about a singular pant, you know. Just one clothing. I'm not saying clothing. Pant or pants? I'm going to wear a pant. I like your pant very much. No, you cannot use the word pant except for a dog panting. <laughs> Only that is pant. Whenever you're referring to a clothing, it's always a pair of pants and not pant. Yes, we be that. That's exactly what I was saying. Okay. You should only use a pair of pants and not pant. Okay. Next question is it's, You have first and the last letter, M and R. So a title used before a man's name is Mr. MR is there. To spoil the look or quality of something. Yeah, not bad. Mm, I'm getting very few correct answers. Uh, that scar dashed his face. Yes. Mar, M-A-R. Why am I giving two answers? For the first one, the right answer is Mar. Mar is spoiling the look of something. Um, his defeat didn't mark the team's chance of winning. That is spoiling. And the third one, a large open land in the hills that is not good for farming. It's 
filled with rough grass. You cannot do any farming there. You cannot plant any plants there. La, that is question number three. A large open land in the hills. What is that? Did you see me answering? Yes. The right answer is smooth. And if you see any English series or read English books, uh, this is very common in England. The last part of England is actually, they have a lot of moods. The mood is correct. Okay, the last question. What is your last question? A machine to produce force or motion. Starts with M, ends with R. Should be fairly easy. Yes, it is a motor. A motor is a machine to produce motion or force. I think this is your last question because here we have the first letter and the last letter. Uh, for example, the first one, a person is V. W-E-V. -V. That's the pronoun, no? W-E. The second one, sorrow or trouble. We went to, we were all in dash after our pets passing away. Not wow. Wow was exclamation, no? Happiness. Sadness is wo. W-O-E. That is sorrow, sadness. That is wo. W-O-E. The next question. A fixed payment or salary. The factory workers get daily dash. Yes. This is wage. Wage is like salary. Wage, wages. All right. Wage is correct. Your next question. To make cloth by interlacing threads. We talked about it when we started the session. By, that is called weaving. To making cloth by interlacing threads. V is correct. Good job. A lot of correct answers. And with that, we will move on to the next kind of question you will be getting in this round. That is word combo. Word combo is where you can see this example in this picture. No? You have FGW, that is column A. You have IN, that is column B. You have DEX, that's column C. You need to form a word with one alphabet in column A, compulsory column B, and one alphabet from column C. So, for example, we take the first letter, F, and uh, in column B, you have IN. And in column C, you have D. So, find is a word. Yes, now you formed one word. Let's try another. F, I, N, E. Find is also a word. So, find, find. Anything else? F, I, N, X. No, Finks is not a word. Guide is not a word. Guinea, gains. No. Wind, wind or wind. That's a word. And wine, you have four words, no? Find, find, wind, wine. Wind, wine. But in your, you know, in your exercise, you'll be able to form only two words. There will be no other options. Let's see if that's if I am correct. Okay. And this is how you'll be having this uh, exercise in your book. You have column A, column B, and column C. So let's go ahead and solve one question. In column A, you have QFL. U.S. E.H.L. Let's try. Q. U.S. E. Fuse. No, it's not a word. F. U.S. E. Fuse. Fuse can be a word. Yes. Okay, let's have that on hold. L. U.S. E. F. U.S. H. Fush. Fushum. No. L. U.S. E. Loose. No, that's not the correct end. correct spelling. L. U.S. H. Lush. Lush. Greenery. Yes. And L. U.S. M. Loosum. No. So you have only two few we can't form, no? You have to choose F, US, and then E. US, US is compulsory. Or part B is compulsory. So fume can't come. So only two words are possible. Which one? Fuse and lush. Yes. So when you do this, you'll get full marks. Let's try one. Just one more question. One or two, I guess. Okay. Uh, W A M Vam no Val no Va no P A M Pam no that's a proper noun P A L Pal Pal is friend no so Paul is Pal is correct P A L P A A Pa no that's informal J A M Jam is there yes uh, Jam Jal Jal no Ja no so we have only two options what are they Pal and Jam. You can't form any other word from this combo. And pal and jam are the only correct answers. I have one more question because you have two letters in column A and two letters in column B. F-I, 
is fizza, not a word. Fizzy, fizzy, not a word. But F I, yeah, Z, Z, Y. Fizzy is correct, no? So fizzy is one word. Not bad. And anything else? Quiza, no. Quizzy, no. Quizzy, no. Quizzy is also not correct. Anything else? Yes. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Only pizza. So only fizzy and pizza. Both not very healthy are the correct answer. All right. With that, we are done with the round 11. Very easy, you know. You can actually answer all the questions this easily. The learning of this round, the learning part is not very much at all. And with that, we are jumping on to round number 12. Compound words and kinds or types of words. What are compound words? Words written on a compound? What are compound words? Um, when you join two words together and make a new word, not a relevant, not even a related word, a relevant word. Hari Hari Sudesh, that looks very yummy. And you join two words to make a new word. For example, rain, you know, that's falling from the sky, bow, a tool. And when you combine rain and bow, it becomes rainbow. Rainbow is a completely different thing, no? It has no relevance to bow. And after rain, the rainbow may come, but still it's a completely different word. So rainbow is a compound word. Sun is a star shining above and shined. Anything can shine. Diamond can shine. Gold can shine. When you combine sun and shine, it becomes it becomes sunshine. And here is easy examples. Tooth and brush becomes toothbrush. Running is an action. Way is where you go. But what is runway? Runway is a place where uh, airplanes take off. Runway is a place where uh, models you know, walk in a patient show. That's totally different meaning. No? These are compound words. And star and fish become starfish. Again, another compound word. Stan, which is not a compound word. And this is how it will be there in your book. For compound words, you'll be having only two exercises. That's about 12 questions. Your first uh, exercise is this. Let's try answering this. Uh, if you can see, Everything, every option is a correct compound word. For example, in question number one, paper currency. Paper currency, the money that you, you know, use. Is it a bank book, bank note, or bank site? There is a word called a bank book, passbook. And, but the right answer is bank note. Your currency, the money that we use is a bank note. And a container used to make and serve tea. Teaspoon is there. That's also, that's also a correct word. Tea cup is also there. But the uh, definition is different, no? The one that you use to make tea is teapot. Teapot is correct. YouTube is a proper noun. Don't bring it here. A marine plant. Question number three. A marine plant. Not seashell. Not seahorse. No, because we are looking for a plant. No. So seaweed is the only possible answer. An important travel document. I'm very sorry. Teapot. CV is correct. An important travel document would be correct. A pass key, a password. You know that's a passport. You don't have an port key like in Harry Potter to take care. Not look into. When I say I will look into the affairs of the company. That's not correct. No, look into is inquiring. Taking care is look after only. Look after is only correct. And your last question. A problem or defect. This draw dash in this plan may backfire. Good. Draw string is what you use to tie your pants. So that's not correct. Draw bridge is what you see in calculus and all. No, that's not correct. The right answer is draw back. Very good. And the next six questions. A large destructive wave. What is that? Radio wave. What is radio wave? Radio wave ca uh, carries audio signals. No, that is not the microwave. Is the wave that come in your microwave oven to cook. That's, that can be correct. A large destructive wave is a tidal wave. Tsunami, that is a tidal wave. Okay, uh, clothing created by interlacing yarn, like weaving. 
using handheld needles. What is that? Very good. That is knitwear. You use it for you know for keep you keep yourself in, keeping yourself warm, and the ability to decide and act is not goodwill. Goodwill is having a good name that can be there. Outwill no. Free will is you have the free will to do anything you want in your life. That is free will, and then the ability to independently decide and act is free will. And the next question at any time. Okay. Uh, at any place, what if the question was at any place? I am seeing the answers. You need to keep typing. At, a, at uh, any time is whenever is correct. Yes. What, what would you say for at any place? Wherever as well? Yes. Uh, with anybody? With anybody? Yes, whoever. Thank you. Your next question, a period of 14 days is not tonight. It's fortnight. You call 30 days a month, 14 days a uh, fortnight. Okay. A kind of sweet, rich biscuit made from flour, sugar, and lots of butter. Flat bread is like your naan. It, you don't use uh, sugar for that. Corn bread is actually used. Corn flour, it will be thick and yellow in color. That can't be this. Shortbread is like a small biscuits, not bread. Shortbread is a biscuit. The right answer is shortbread. With that, we are done with compound words. Next part of this session is kinds or types of words. We already saw this no for level two. For round seven, we saw parts of speech. We saw noun, adjective, verb, but verb. I will say with you for level two bootcamp. And all that, you know all that. So we needed to go to the basics of parts of speech. But let me just check if you remember. How many parts of speech are there? Four. No. Okay. Since a lot of time has passed, you must have forgotten. We have like eight parts of speech. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. We saw all of this for level two. You know what is a noun. Noun is a naming word. Pronoun is giving proxy to noun. There is I, V, and all. Let's see what kind of exercises you have with this. Okay. Your first exercise would be you need to see a noun. Look at a noun. Tell me whether it's a common or a proper noun. Sachikiri, okay. I'm teaching again only. I'm not wrong. You're not going to sit past our speech. You know what is a noun? Name, places, things, ideas. So, Naisa Tasgonkar is a proper noun. Shlok Prakash is a proper noun. Student is a common noun. Now you see, all proper nouns should be capitalized. And a proper noun is talking about someone specific. And a common noun, it could be anything. When I say a boy in Spelby International, it could be anyone. It could be thousands of boys in Spelby International. But when I'm going to pinpoint that... Alpha B. Oh, I think Alpha B is a girl. I, Rauti. I'm very sorry. When I'm going to pinpoint uh, Nit Nitin Sundralingam, that is a specific boy. No? So that is a proper noun. Let's see from with some examples. Car, biscuit, mobile, singer, country. What kind of nouns are these? Chocolate, toy, drink, continent, ocean. Car, could be any car, could be any biscuit, could be any chocolate. This is a common noun. It's not specific to any brand or any person. And in Ananya Ramesh, these are not proper nouns. These are common nouns only. Common things. You needn't uh, capitalize any of these if it's not in front of I me. Mean, if it's if the sentence is not starting with this. But you're all correct. They don't have a name. They are all common nouns. But can you give me a proper noun for a car? Whichever car that you like, proper name for a car, Audi, Bavisha, no, okay, Lamborghini, Honda, Hyundai, Alto, nice, Mercedes, okay, Honda, super. Can you give me a proper noun for biscuit? Biscuit, biscuit, Parleji, Nations, Oreo, Parleji, Oreo, My Mary, good day. Can you give me a proper noun for mobile? 
hide and seek, mobile, Apple, Nokia, okay, singer, iPhone, Samsung, singer, 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 singer. Yes, baby, Lata Mangeshkar. Yes, I'm still getting car names. Okay, now you get the hang of it. No, these are common nouns and these are proper nouns. This get Oreo, Mobile, Apple, Continent, Asia, Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Toy, Barbie. All those in blue are proper nouns. All those in green are common nouns. So now you know. Now you got. Uh, you know what is a common and proper noun. Let us check whether you know you are really understood. You have a lot of nouns in this in this image right here. It's a mixture of common and proper nouns. Can you tell me iPhone 15 Pro Titanium? Okay, all right, got it. And uh, can you point out which are all the proper nouns in this list? Just proper nouns. Don't worry about the common nouns. Are there any pro proper nouns in this list? Person, place, things, idea. David is a proper noun. Yes. Emily is a proper noun. India is a proper noun. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. David, Emily, Asia, Europe, America, India, Pacific Ocean. All these are proper nouns. Everything else is a common noun. And this is how it is there in your book. The first one is village. Is village a proper noun or common noun? Village. Village is a common noun. No? Village is a common noun. If, you, uh, if you're giving the name of your ancestral village, like... Um, then that will be a proper noun. Village is a common noun. You're correct. Republic. India is a republic. A republic. What is a republic country? A republic country is a country that is headed by a democratic head. And there is no monarchy. There are no kings or queens or not. Only the constitutional head is there. And so a republic can be anything. It could be India. It could be Pakistan. It could be USA. It could be South Africa. All these are republics, so this is not a proper noun. It's a common noun. But can you give me an example for pro republic, proper noun? Czech Republic, I'm bad. Okay, the third one, prime minister. Is prime minister a common noun or proper noun? A prime minister is a common noun only, but you should always capitalize P and M because all... Uh, Ministerial occupations should be capitalized. Prime Minister, Chief Minister, Minister of State, everything, the first letter of all these should be capitalized. So, Prime Minister is a common noun only. And uh, Narendra Modi is a proper noun. The next question, no, I'm not going to give you the answer. The next person, Wednesday. Wednesday is a proper noun or common noun? Okay. Day, any day of the week, day is common noun. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all these are proper nouns and should always be capitalized. Wednesday is a proper noun. And uh, the next question, February. Just like how all days are proper noun, all months are also proper nouns only. All months should be capitalized first. So February is a proper noun. And planet, planet. Planet is a common noun only. Earth, Mars, all these are planets, proper nouns. They Those should be capitalized. Planet is a common noun. You need to capitalize planet. That is a common noun only. Not bad. The next exercise is on singular or collective nouns. When I say um, a person, that's a singular noun. But when I say a group, that is a collective noun. Now, I'll be giving a few words and you tell me whether it's a common, I mean, singular noun or collective noun. What is a group of ants called? Cattle, uh, this guy, correct? Kubishaha, yes, that is common. A colony of ants. Oh, I'm getting a lot of correct answers. A group of ants is called an army of ants. Nice an army of ants. What is the group of birds called? A colony of birds, no. Very good. 
flock of birds. A group of birds is called a flock of birds. Like this, we'll go to your question. And this is how it is there in your book. Okay, termite. You know what are termites? Small insects that you know eat away at the wood. Is termite a singular noun or collective noun? Hmm. Is termite a singular noun or collective noun? It is a singular noun, not that. Termite is a singular noun. But what is the collective noun for termite? Collective noun used for termites, not a flock, not an army. A swarm of termites would be correct. Your next question. Uh, what is this? Swarm. Oh my God. I already give you the answer. Swarm. Is it a collective noun or a singular noun? I just told you a swarm of bees, a swarm of termites. A swarm is automatically a collective noun. And uh, the next one, trousers. I like this pair of trousers from MNS. Trousers. Since it's ending with an N, it looks like plural, no? So it is a collective noun. No, I just told you about pants. No, it's always a pair of pants. A pair of trousers. A pair of trousers should be correct. So trousers is even one single trousers is a pair of trousers. But what do you call a common a collective noun for trousers? Collective noun for trousers. I have a lot of trousers here. A pile of trousers or a closet of trousers. Okay, your next question. Trousers is correct. Hero. Hero is a singular noun or collective noun? Hero is singular, no? Only one person. Hero is a single person. Any uh, collective term for hero? It could be a pantheon of heroes. That's like the Roman word for it. A pantheon is you have, like Avengers, you have a lot of big heroes group, grouping up together. That is a pantheon of heroes. Or you can also use crew. The film crew has a lot of heroes, actors, no? So, pantheon of crew. Your next word is hero singular. Volcano. League of Justice. Volcano is singular. Just one single volcano is singular. That's correct. But what is the collective for, word for volcano? Is we finishing in the next 10 minutes? Collective word for volcano is a ring of volcanoes. Okay. And the last one, crew. My God, I already told this. Crew, singular or collective. Who do you call a crew? Those who are uh, uh, working on a ship, shipping crew. Those are working on a film set, filming crew. Crew is obviously a lot of people. So crew is a collective now. Okay. Not bad. We have like just two more exercises to go. I'm going to give you a list of uh, words. You need to tell me whether it's a noun or a verb. Very simple thing, no? A noun is a naming thing. So if it's a name of any name, place, animal, idea, you can say noun. And verb, action words. Running, sitting, reading, looking. So you know what are nouns, what are verbs? Easy. So you'll tell me which one is a noun, which one is a verb. This is how it is there in your book. And your first word is here. Approve. After the rocket launched successfully, there was a huge uproar in the research room. Uproar. Is it a noun or a verb? Just because they are all jumping up and down, don't get confused. The word is this uproar. The successful launch of the missile caused a huge uproar in the room. Okay, I'll give you one clue. Try Changing the tense of the word. Can you use the word uproaring, uproared, uproars? No, no. There are no words like this. So this cannot be a word. Cheering can be a verb, but uproar is a noun. It caused a huge uproar. This a noun. Uproar is a noun. I got a lot of verb. I hope you are clear now. Your next word is this. Uproot. Uproot is taking something from its original place possibly. I was uprooted from my hometown. When my father shifted to the city, uh, Hello Kitty is uprooting the street trunk. Uproot is a noun or a verb. Again, use my trick. Can you say uproots, uprooted, uprooting? Yes, you can. That is a verb. So uproot is a verb. It's not a noun. Okay. 
This could be a new word for you, but they're just there in your spelling, right? Para. Paris, taking off the skin of fruits or something. Feeling the skin of the, of the fruits. So that is an action, the action of feeling. So pair is a verb. Action of feeling, pairing, paired, pass. And the homophone of this word is also is this. Pair. pair is a fruit. You know this? This pair, is this a noun or the verb? The pair is dancing. Dancing is an action. Dancing is a verb, but pair is a fruit. No, apple, banana, pomegranate, all are nouns only. So this is a noun only. And the last but one, underpants. Underpants that you, you know, wear beneath your pants. Is underpants a noun or a verb? That is a thing, no. That is a clothing. It's a piece of clothing and it is a thing. So underpants is again a noun. I think this is your last one. Underwent. My uncle underwent a minor surgery last year, last week. Underwent a surgery. Underwent. Underwent. Undergo. Undergoing. Underwent. It goes into all these tense forms. So this would be a verb. Okay. This is your last exercise. With that, we will be winding up the session. Just two minutes, DK ma'am. I hope you're here. Yes, I'm okay. here. This is called this is called capitonyms. Capitonyms is where the same word we just change its meaning. One, if you are going to capitalize the first letter of it, you don't believe me? Let's see some examples. This is actually questions from your book. The same word Turkey. If you use capital T, it's a country. If you use small t, it's a bird. So your first question is this. Which among these two is a country? So capital T or small t? A or B? Tavan, small t is not correct. B is correct. Because we just saw, no? Country start with capital letters. So the country Turkey is capital T. The next question, fifth month of the year, A or B? We just... We just saw months are proper nouns. You should use capital words. So, yes, May is the month and May is a verb. May or may not happen. He may or may not come. I may or may not finish this session on time. You may or may not sleep after the session ends. So, so, so the question, the month, fifth month of the year should be capital M. May, option B. Yes, next question, porcelain dishes. You know, the bowls and plates that uh, you used to eat that can be easily broken if, you know, if it's if, if it falls down. It's called porcelain dishes. And uh, is this small c or uh, capital C? Capital C is China, the country. And small c is the utensils that you see inside this, inside China. China, fine China. Fine China and original China are actually very pricey and people actually keep, you know, price it very much. They have it carefully. So for this, the correct answer is small c. Porcelain dishes is small c China. The next question, a person from Poland, Polish, they only know because uh, again, proper not mean countries and uh, people who live there. Polish with capital P is a person who lives in, uh, who is a citizen of Poland. And Polish is a small P is polishing of something, rubbing some polish on your shoe, you know, making it clean and shiny. That is polish with a small P. And your next question, the last bit one, the way the soldiers walk in a parade, small M or uh, capital M. Small M is the first picture that you see, mark the soldiers marching. The capital and proper noun is the season where plants, flowers start to bloom. That is much. All right. So you got that also correct. And the last question, a town in France. There is a town in southern France called any place proper noun should start with capital noun. You're correct. Option B. Nice. And this is a nice better that is not a proper noun. So that is small m. 
With that, we have come to the end of round 12. You have just finished three and four rounds today. I know your minds must be, you know, very exhausted. But we have a few important links to share. And uh, uh, Bala sir, are we ready to share the links? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Uh, do have a notepad or wordpad open next to you. We'll be sharing some very important links in the chat box right now. Do copy and uh, paste it in the notepad and uh, use the links because that will be needed. The first one I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in the chat box is our WhatsApp channel. We need a single point of communication. No? Whenever we have a quiz or you know, we have a program that you'll be interested to join in, a small video of something interesting, we have no way of you know, immediately reaching you. We'll be sending you a registered mobile number or we'll be seeing in webinars and all. But if you join this WhatsApp channel that's on the screen right now, You'll be you know, uh, getting daily updates, daily quizzes. And uh, if you are an award winner, your picture will be posted here. And you know, just to, you know, to bring us closer together, use this WhatsApp channel. Just join it. And uh, after this bootcamp, there will be a lot of information coming from us to you in this channel. This is our official WhatsApp channel. I'm sure every parent must be using your WhatsApp, not the child. And if you can just join this WhatsApp channel, well and good. And another important... Uh, Link is, you know, we have designed two games for you in Android Play Store and in Apple Play Store. We have only one game in Apple Play, Apple App Store. And we have designed this game only for our students, free of cost. You, are, you should be able to use it. You should have used it by now. You just need to uh, key in your spin ID and you can start using the game. And it's not just a game. You just learn the three, I mean, you just have 600 words and meanings for level three exam. You know that, right? You can learn that easily with this game that we have created, Trekman. The links are there on, on your chat box right now. We have it in Android Play Store. We have a web link. You didn't even have a phone. You can play it on the system. And we have an Apple uh, App Store link. Anywhere you play, it will get updated in all three places. And uh, yes, you can learn the words and meanings of 1,000 uh, words for your grade in these games. Uh, do log in and play and we also have another app for learning phonetics we had, no, uh, we had a phonetics round in level 2 what is the beauty in this phonetics quizzes we actually can hear the words we are not able to you know sit with you and tell you how this word should be pronounced you are not there but we can do I mean, we are doing it through this app once you log in with your spin id for all the exercises in the phonetics sound you will be able to hear the sound of these words and then answer and yes, that's just, that will be a great tool in learning pronunciation. So these two apps, games we have. And then, uh, any other links, sir? Some service for the important for it. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the service, that is, I didn't get the book, I didn't get last level certificate, I don't know when is the exam, and... Uh, I didn't get the set. I didn't get the medals yet. Will I be getting a medal for this mark? Any kind of questions you have, uh, you will be seeing a link right now on the screen. This is our service query form. Any question you have regarding the services, you can uh, fill in this, and it will be you know we'll take this very seriously. We'll give it to the we'll forward it to your concern coordinator. They'll be getting back to you with the solution within forty eight hours. So uh, detail your uh, query as much as possible, and it will be resolved. And the next one is content query form. This again, if you have any doubts in the book, why is this the correct answer? Why can't this be the correct answer? Can you explain this concept to me? I'm not able to understand. I got a lot of questions. Can you explain this again? What is this? I don't understand. All these kind of questions, you can put it in the content query form. And that will be forward to our content department and they will you know, reply to you personally and resolve that uh, query, content query. And then uh dk ma'am will share the yeah. uh, and you can uh, you can tell about hs4a for, for a moment yeah yes dk ma'am will tell you about the hs4a uh, human security for all campaign that uh, you know we are using for uh also for uh, improving the fluency of our students and also for making them a global citizen and uh, there is yes this form is there and if you wish your child to take part in a global campaign to actually understand what's happening around them and be a part of a change, you can join us in this campaign. You can just use this form to tell us in which areas you're interested to participate. And once we you know launch our assignments or campaign, the ones who have filled these this form will be informed first. 
will be contacting you first and we'll be getting your entries first. And as Deacon Mim said, the best of the best will be showcased on international websites, HS4 and uh, also in Osberview International uh, website. And everyone who's participating will also get, be getting a participation certificate, that is an e-certificate. And yes, this will be a great uh, option for you. Uh, expose the child to the world at large and making him a responsible global citizen. And yes, I think with that, I have given all the links. Over to DK, ma'am. Thank you so much, Kari, ma'am. That was a wonderful session. I enjoyed your session. Manasvi, please type your question. Manasvi, please type your question. I really enjoyed your music chat. You are playing along. I really miss you. And type your question in the chat box so that I'll be able to answer you. All right. Uh, can you just see what Manasvi is typing if you have some time? Like uh, she, she's raising her hand and for a long time, whatever she types me, uh, if you are there. And okay, so let's go over the conclusion. I'm going to ask you only two questions to just check whether you have learned everything. I'm just going to ask, uh, yeah, three things I'm going to deal with. Uh, one question, can you find a word for this? Very, very easy. So give me a word for this. Go to the chat box. Give me a word for this. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm somewhere in the chat box. Someone can can someone read what they are saying? Give me, uh, not win victory. Ah, beautiful. So medalist is your word. So you need to find it from your words, no? So that is word number 449, medalist. So what is the medalist? Medal plus IST. IST means one who. Remember that whenever you are reading, please chunk and then read it. Also, no, break the words and then read it. So when you're breaking it, it is becoming medal and IST is. IST means one who. So pianist, one who is you know, playing piano, is pianist, violinist, dentist, cyclist, and type any number of words with IST. Now in another 30 seconds, I'll be happy to see that. So anthropologist. Somebody like that, okay, whatever it is, ornithologist who is studying birds. So, IST, 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 one who, one who, one who. So, one who is also ER, okay, carpenter, driver, one who is also AM. So, Indian, Jamaican, six, and then um, ER is like six footer, island, and then even CAAL is also something like that. So, break it and then learn. Interesting. So, it can also be used in words like this silver medalist, two leg rays, like that. Okay, now tell me a word for this. Only three questions I have. Okay, so, so this is a second question. Give me a word for this. Ah, that's it. Give me other words, other related words for this. Can you give me some inflections and derivations uh, for this? Derivations for this? Yeah. Okay, it's not dimpling, but then since I'm dealing with your group words, so peck, pegs. Pecking. Very good. So if you are pecking like a bird, no, when you're eating food like this, uh, I don't like it. So then we can call your even the way you eat also as pecking. Okay. All right. So, but you have a, pro uh, Karina was teaching you proper noun. You have a proper noun with this. Can you give a proper noun with this? With a, with peck in it? A name of some animal? Ne ah, beautiful. Wow, beautiful. So, woodpecker. Okay. So, woodpecker. So, I'm going to finish it off first. So, the last question I'm having. After that, we will be finished. Very good. You have learned it. So, this is woodpecker. Pecking is actually when you do like this, then it is called pecking. It's not a tick, 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 tick. So, fast it need to be. Okay. The last question. <clears throat> How will you remember words like this? How will you remember the meanings of words like this? Like, Principle and principle, all the same. Like uh, it is 599 and 600 the word for you. <coughs> the last two words, okay? So it is a, uh, both like one is, uh, yeah, both are also homophones. So principle, so both are homophones. So there is no pronunciation difference also. So how will you differentiate between, how will you remember it? Which one is principle, which one is principle? So which one? Which one is our school principal? Which one is the principles you are supposed to follow? <coughs> okay, I'll give a clue and then before I end the session, the clue is, whom do you call as a pal? Pal, P-A-L. Pal means? Pal means friend. Very good. 
your principal can become a friend of yours. So remember that. Okay. So whenever you are confused with the spelling, so it ends with P A L. Okay. So principal is somebody who can become a friend of you. But principal is not like that. Principal are like the principal. So you can have one more uh, thing for it. Okay. When is the exam date? Ah, it all depends upon the school. You need to type it in the form. The query form is there. In the query form, you are supposed to type it. Okay. Thank you very much for being here so long. Thanks for Arul Ma'am. Thanks for Kani Ma'am. So one last announcement to join the WhatsApp group, to uh, fill in the query form, uh, to take your book and then read properly. And then to go to the coaching platform and to see the videos which we made it with so much of care. And then uh, one more request to attend the webinars. The last request once again, now that you have come to national level, please come to international level also. So that let's finish uh, studying. And the last few minutes, uh, as I'm going to close it, so kindly give some words on how was today's session. Can you write a few words on how today's session was? So the last few seconds. So people have taken class for you for the last three hours of time. How do you rate it in the scale of zero to 10? Where do you rate this uh, training program? And uh, how do you like it? Few words, if you want to write, please write. So third level book, it depends upon once we receive the payment, in three working days, we dispatch. It depends upon where your school is. Sometimes it comes to your school, but then they'll take some time because of the working days and other constraints, they may take a few days maybe to distribute. So national exam, it depends uh, because area-wise it differs. Uh, Tawan, okay, take care. And then when will we when will get the previous results medals? All like you can ask your regional coordinators or in the query form. It differs from people because it has gone to many uh, schools. And if it is for your region, if, it is, if there is a delay, please ask. When will we get? Okay. All right. Okay. So I don't think. Okay. Thank you very much for your generous uh, 10 out of 10. Okay. So generous uh, appreciations. Session was very nice. Good, good. Very happy that we have served you very well. So whenever you are getting some time, uh, uh, take a Google uh, review or just a review. Just go and see Spellby International Review. And your review means a lot because of parents like you, because of students like you, because of uh, teachers and schools of the like that of yours. Uh, Spellby is growing. Even though we have created a wonderful, uh, you know, like a platform and learning a program, we wouldn't have thrived well without your support. So one extension is sending us some, you know, uh, feedback uh, and then uh, appreciation things or queries to improve, uh, suggestions to improve. And also some feedback in the online platforms so that it will be easier for us to make people to explain because we do not market it out and out. So only with word of mouth we grow. So you can just write few lines, uh, write a few line of reviews if you really, really like the program. Thanks, then. So shall we close? So remember once again how we started. So we are going to celebrate this new year like anything. Let's welcome warmly uh, this new year. And it's not one ordinary thing is coming. So it is one best thing, okay? In life, you would have seen so many better things, but this is going to be another better thing. So it is going to tell you, okay, this year is going to be the best. I'm going to get something. Uh, I'm going to learn a beautiful habit. I'm going to get some opportunities in life. I'm going to become a different person. Mama is asking me not to be lazy. I'm going to be a little more active. I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to be eating a nutritious food. I'm not going to say no to greens, no to healthy, no unhealthy foods. Okay, so something like that. Have some plans. You are going to have specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, uh, no relevant and time bound goals and wish you all the best i'll be you'll be anyway traveling for a few years along with us we will also be seeing how you're all growing for many of many of your uh, seniors we are seeing them continuously for seven years eight years nine years and then we are seeing them personally growing in many other uh, levels so I've, i i we have seen spelby students being in the best of the best companies also so wish to see you all in great platforms uh, this wonderful opening we have opportunity we have created through hs forum i'm not able to talk more about it in this forum it's a beautiful international forum it will uh, give you a, a vast opportunity 
to showcase your talents in international forums. So that is coming to you as a part of Spelby International's international level program. So even now, national level contestants also can join. So join and make utilize of that forum and improve your fluency through that. Thank you very much, all of you. Let's close it. Okay. Let's invite the new year and also let's close this session with five count. Okay. Shall we all, can you count along with me? Okay. Five. Four. Do it. Three. Two. One. Happy new year. Thank you. Awesome.